afternoon, my dear kids. How are you all doing? I am sure you, all my kids, you are in pink of health and you all are enjoying your session sleep, okay? So in this session leave, please don't get bored. And yes, the trainer is back again with moral stories, okay? So in the session, stay tuned with your story narrator here, Mayal Jaswal. And I am going to take you to a lovely, exciting moral story. Now, my dear kids, why I narrate moral stories? I narrate moral stories so that we all can have learn moral values, ethical values in life, right? Try to be humble, try to be sympathetic towards others and definitely always respect your elders, okay? So my dear kids, here I go with the story. The very first story is the milkmaid and her pail, okay? So Patty, a milkmaid, milked her cow and had two full pails of fresh cream and milk. She put both piles of milk, okay? Now, what happened? She put both piles of milk on a stake and set off to the market to sell the milk. As she took step towards the market, her thoughts took steps towards well. On her way, she kept thinking about the money she would make from selling the milk. Then she thought about what she would do with that money. She went talking to herself and said, once I get the money, I'll buy a chicken. The chicken will lay eggs and I will get more chickens. They are lay chick eggs. They will all, all chicks will lay eggs. And I will sell them for more money. Then I will buy the house on the hill and everyone will envy me. She was very happy that soon she will be very rich. With these happy thoughts, she marched ahead. But suddenly she stripped and fell. Both the pails of the milk fell and her dreams were shattered. The milk spilled onto the ground and all Patty could do was cry. No more drink, no more drink. She cried foolishly. So my dear kiddos, what is the moral of the story? Do not count your chickens before they are hatched. Right? So, how did you like this particular moral story? Huh? Understood? Very good. Yes, I can hear a huge round of applause from my kiddos. Now, let me take you to the next moral story is when adversity knocks. Okay, let's start. This is a story that explains how adversity is met differently by different people. There was a girl named Asha who lived with her mother and her father in a village. One day, her father assigned her a simple task. He took three vessels filled with boiling water. He placed an egg in one vessel, a potato in the second vessel, and some tea leaves in the third vessel. He asked Asha to keep an eye on the vessels for about 10 to 15 minutes when the three ingredients in the three separate vessels boiled. After the set time, he asked Asha to peel the potato and the egg and strain the teeth. Asha was left puzzled. He understood her father and was trying to explain her something, but she didn't know what it was. Her father explained, all three items were put in the same circumstances. So how they have responded differently. He said that the potato turned soft, the egg turned on, and the tea leaves changed the color and taste of the water. He further said, we are all like one of these items. So when adversity calls, we respond exactly the way they do. Now you are a potato kids and egg or tea leaves. So what is the moral of the story, my dear kiddos? We can choose how to respond to a difficult situation. So we should all have the courage to face challenges, to face obstacles and difficulties. 
comes in our life. So all my kids deserve a big thumbs up and hats off, okay? Now let me take you to the next story, which is the proud rose, okay? Once upon a time, there was a beautiful rose plant in a garden. One rose flower on the plant was proud of its beauty. However, it was disappointed that it was growing next to an ugly cactus. Every day, the rose would insult the cactus about its look, but the cactus stayed quiet. All the other plants in the garden tried to stop the rose from bullying the cactus, but the rose was too swayed by its own beauty to listen to anyone extremely proud right one summer a well in the garden dried up and there was no water for the plant the rose slowly began to wilt the rose saw a sparrow dip its beak into the cactus for some water the rose then felt ashamed for having made fun of the cactus all the time but because was in need of water it went to ask the cactus if it could have some water the kind cactus agreed and they both got through summer as friends so my dear kids what is the moral of the story never 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 judge someone by the way they look we should never judge any person by their looks right so my dear in this particular bit i have explained moral stories so all of you please follow the stories and try to learn the morals right so till then this is your trainer kyle here signing off thank you bye bye and definitely stay connected love you all kiddos